Hey guys, it's Kevin again. This is going to be another classic movie review for you guys. This time reviewing to you the 1990, um, sort of, uh, I don't really know what to call this movie. Romantic, dra um, romantic drama, com dramedy, classic, Ghost. This was a movie that I've wanted to see for a while. I've heard very, very am amazing things about this movie. I've heard it's one of the best romantic movies of all time. I've heard the cast is really good. I've heard it's a really, really great movie. And I've always wanted to see this movie. And I, I finally watched this movie. And what did I think of Ghost? This might be my favorite romance movie of all time. Oh my god, guys. I loved this movie. I'm so surprised by how much I love this movie. This might be my favorite movie that I watched so far out of all the classic movies I reviewed for you guys this year. This year. I mean, last year, I had some that I really liked, of course. Um, but so far this year, this might be my favorite one. I just, I really fell in love with the story. I love this movie. I really was into it the whole time. Um, and I really, really love this movie. So it was just amazing. So let's talk about what Ghost is about in case you guys don't know. I'm sure you guys do know the plot of Ghost, but if you don't, then here's the plot. Basically, we focus on two people, Sam and Molly. Sam is played by Patrick Swayze, and Molly is played by Demi Moore. And, um, basically, they are this new couple. They've just moved in together. Sam has a very successful job, and Molly is a, uh, potterer. Um, the pottery scene in the beginning, we'll talk about that, but, um, of course, you know, there's that. Um, but, basically, everything seems to be going well for them, except that he never says, I love you to her. Um, he always says, ditto. Um, but that's just because they're a new couple, and they seem like a happy couple and everything. They seem like they're having a very, like, passionate love. They're planning on going to see this movie. Um, sorry guys, I got an itch on my leg. I don't know why. Um, but, um, his friend's like, so what are you doing in Molly? They end up going to this movie, and, um, basically when they go to this movie, um, he, they are attacked by this gang, and Patrick Swayze, you know, Sam is shot and killed, and, um, but he doesn't, um, technically go away all the way. He actually, because of unresolved things, because the gang is still out there, he is now a ghost, and he is sort of a ghost now because he wants to, um, he has unresolved things that he needs to do. Um, you know, he needs to make sure that Molly knows that he loves her. He also needs to go down about her safety. He does not realize at first he's a ghost, but basically he goes down to see, um, Odie, um, Whoopi Goldberg's character, and, uh, she basically, um, tells him that, uh, that basically she has to try to help him figure out what's going on exactly, try to stop all the gang violence from happening, that's basically the plot of Ghost, and I think it's a very strong movie, and I really do love that about this movie, I think it's a fantastic movie overall. Um, let's get to the best part of this movie, the acting in this movie. If the acting in this movie was not good, this movie would be very, very boring. I'll say this, the first few minutes of this movie is a little bit boring, that's the only complaint in the movie is that it's a little bit boring, but I was really into it. Um, Patrick Swayze, wow. Patrick Swayze is amazing in this movie. I know why Patrick Swayze was such a good actor now. I mean, my mom always told me, like, because she grew up in the 80s, you know, she was a teenager in the 80s. Um, you know, she's always telling me how Patrick Swayze is one of her favorite actors. And I can see why, because he really is, was a, he was a fantastic actor. God rest his soul, he was fantastic. You know, he did Ghosts, and he also did Dairy Dancing, which I'm considering watching that one after watching this, because he's a really good actor. Um, all, he's so good. Any scene, um, where it's just him alone, um, the scene where he finds out that he's a ghost is awesome to watch, because he doesn't realize he's a ghost and it's really big, but any scene where he's all by himself, it's really awesome to watch. He did a really great job in the movie. I thought he gave a really, really great performance in the movie. Wow, he really got into his role. He did a really great job, and I thought he was just amazing in his role. He was fantastic. Then you have Demi Moore as Molly, who I thought she was very, very good. She did what she had to do. You know, you saw how much she loved Sam after he died. You saw how much she loved him, and she cried over him. She was not, you know, her life was basically destroyed after he died, and she didn't want to live without him. It was very big to see. I thought she did a really great job, and she was also very, very good. Very great job from um, her performance, especially towards the end of this movie, which I will get to, um, because I don't want to spoil it. 
Uh, Patrick Swayze and Demi Moore, by the way, have a ton of chemistry. This might, this is some of the best chemistry I've seen in a romantic movie because it doesn't even seem forced. It seems like it's just there between them. Like they were together in real life. I don't know if they were together in real life. They had something in real life. I really don't know. However, I feel like they had a lot of chemistry together in this movie, especially the famous pottery scene, which of course everyone knows the pottery scene and goes, you know, she's, um, doing pottery. He's helped her, he helps her out. They end up having sex. And, you know, it's just a very good, um, way of showing their passion for each other. Um, you know, it's a very good way of showing how much they care about each other, how much they love each other. And it's just a very good way of, uh, showing that. And I thought they did a really great job. As I said, they have a lot of chemistry. And if they didn't have chemistry, the movie would not work out. So they did a really great job. By far, though, the, the, um, the one person that steals the show in this movie is Whoopi Goldberg. Oh my god, her character was so funny. I like the fact that she didn't think that she was actually a medium. She thought she was going crazy. But then when she meets um, Sam, she realizes, okay, I know what I'm doing. But I thought she was very, very funny. She did a really great job in the movie. I like that there was comedy in the movie, that she brought comedy to the movie. Because if the movie had just been sad throughout the whole thing, I feel like it'd be boring. And her bringing comedy to it meant she brought something else to the movie, which was very, very good. I, I thought she did a really great job in the movie. Um... She was really, really awesome. Really great acting from her, as I said. Really, really great job. Just, wow. She did a really, really amazing job. And uh, she actually got a little serious at the end. You know, I, I like that she wasn't silly throughout the whole thing. But she did provide a lot of really good comic relief. I really enjoyed um, her scenes overall. And then you had Tony um, Gold Goldwyn as, uh, as Carl. Carl is Sam's best friend. He did a really good job. I thought he was really good in the movie. Very good performance. There's a huge twist to his character, which I'll get to if you guys have not seen the movie. But he did a really good job. And then the other other person I want to talk about are o Oda May's sisters. Um, very, very funny. I thought they were very funny. Especially because, you know, they, they were just really funny. I thought they did a really good job. And they were really, really awesome. Alright, let's get you on the spoilers in this movie. If you guys have not seen Ghost... And, uh, you want to, there's a huge twist in this movie that if you listen to the rest of the review, I'm going to spoil the big twist in this movie. Alright, so of course the big twist in this movie is we find out, of course, that, um, you know, the go, you know, that, um, the person that actually attacked them was hired by Sam's best friend, Carl. And Carl is actually this crazy, crazy guy. And when they revealed that, I'm like, okay, I understand that. That makes sense. Because he asked him in the beginning of the movie, what are you and Molly playing to do tonight? And then that attack happened. It didn't seem that coincidental. If you hear about that twist, you know, it doesn't seem coincidental because it makes perfect sense if, why that happened. So I thought that was very well done. They revealed that very, very good reveal. And I really enjoyed that overall. That was very, very well done. I thought that was a fantastic um, reveal. The way they did that scene was very, very well done. I really enjoyed that overall. Um, and of course, the ending of this movie. Oh my god, the ending of this movie. Oh, I, I cried. I will admit that. I cried during the end of this movie. I cried in two scenes specifically. One, the scene where she realizes that he really is a ghost. I like that the whole fact that she can't see him throughout most of the movie... Because it's tragic, you know, he wants to see her, but she can't see him because he's a ghost, and, you know, she really loves him, and the song Unchained Melody in the movie just works so well in this movie, it's perfect song for this movie, and the scene where she, um, where he basically, he tosses that, he levitates that coin, that's how she knows he's alive, awesome, just awesome scene right there, and then of course the last scene where he finds out that Basically, his work is done, and he's going to heaven, and he's going to become an angel. You're happy for him, at the same time, you're just so sad for her, because... But she's happy because she saw him one last time, she got the closure she needed, and that was great about the movie. I, I love the ending. The ending almost... Basically, it, it did make me cry. I'll admit that right now. I cried during the ending. Very, very good ending. Very powerful ending. And the ending of this movie is just really, really awesome. I love the ending of this movie. Really, really awesome stuff there. Um... Now, the other thing I must talk about, you know, that I also like about the movie, of course, um, was the directing. The directing of this movie was very, very good. The director who decided to direct the movie, um, Jerry Zucker, who also directed Airplane, you know, he directed, um, the last movie that I reviewed. He did a really good job in this movie. I thought he did a really good job directing, and he was very, very good in the movie as well. Now, the movie did receive quite a lot of nominations, um, for, um... For the Academy Awards. It didn't win anything, but it did get quite a few nominations, and we're going to talk about what it got nominated for. Um, it got nominated for five Academy Awards, Best Picture, Best Score, Best Film Editing, 
And it only, the only awards that it got was uh, Best Morning Actress for Whoopi Goldberg, which she definitely does deserve, because as I said, she stole the movie for me. I thought the two main leans were great, but she really did steal the movie. She really was hilarious. And Best Original Screenplay. So, you know, those are the two that it got, but everyone really deserved their nominations, and I think they all did a really, really great job. And uh, definitely, guys, uh, you guys should definitely check out Ghost if you haven't already. It's an amazing movie. Um, the acting's awesome, the, the story's awesome, it's a very, very great movie, hard to watch at some point, I will say that, it is hard to watch, it's not the easiest movie to watch, um, you might cry, like I did, cause I cried, um, if you're sensitive to movies like, I'm not too sensitive, but things like Ghost, I am sensitive to, so if you guys, um, are, you know, a little uncomfortable with it, it's fine, everybody cries, just feel free to cry in the movie because it's fine if you cry to it because everyone will understand. So yeah, that's basically it for my review of Ghost. Um, let me know if you guys saw this movie. Overall, I really enjoy this movie. As I said, this might be my favorite movie that I've reviewed so far in these classic movie reviews, but that might change with the next classic movie I'm going to review. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is or when it's released or what it is, but it's the complete, all I'll say is it's the complete opposite of the last movie because that's basically what I want to do with this. I want to do, like, sort of, like, the last and the next movie review is the complete opposite of the last movie. That's why I do that. I'm sure you guys are wondering, why aren't you reviewing all comedies? Why aren't you reviewing all dramas? Because I'm trying to mix it up so it's, like, the complete opposite. So you don't, like, it's what you don't expect me to review. I don't want you guys to know what I review because I don't want you to expect anything. So that's it in my review. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video, which will be for another classic movie review. So I'll see you guys for that. Okay, bye.